Hey folks, welcome back to another video. So you want to play PC VR games on your Quest or Quest 2, but you don't have a cable that can connect your Quest to your PC. And actually you want to play PC VR games wirelessly, but don't know how. Well have no fear, Wackman is here. Today I'm going to show you everything you need to be able to play PC VR games where you don't need any cables at all. The process has changed a little bit, but it has actually become a lot easier to do. So, if you enjoyed the video and find it helpful, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Talking about easy, remember my ETH special giveaway is on right now, where I will be giving away either Hyper Dash, Gone, or the newly released Cosmo Trade, and the winner gets to choose which game they want. So, if you would like to enter, all you have to do is like the video, subscribe to the channel, put bell notifications on, and comment hashtag ETH2021 down below. The winner will be announced on ETH next month, so make sure you're in it to win it. Well, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so just before we start, I want to give you some information in regards to what you need before you can actually play PC VR games wirelessly. So, firstly, ensure you have a VR ready PC, otherwise none of the games will work. I've listed the minimum specs in the description in case you're not sure. Secondly, make sure you have a better router than the one your ISP has provided, as normally they give out terrible ones. Also, if you have a lot of devices connected to your router, then this may cause some increased latency. I will be coming out with a video soon on a great cheap Wi-Fi 6 router and if it's worth getting. But if you're happy with your setup then let's move on. So the first step is to download the Oculus Rift software on the PC. I've left a link in the description to make it easy for you. You need enough space on your C drive to be able to install it. It's kind of annoying that it won't let you install it anywhere other than your main drive. However, you can still install the games on a different drive if you wish. If you want to play Steam VR games such as Half-Life Alex, then you will need to install Steam and Steam VR as well. Once you have installed them, then we need to purchase Virtual Desktop. This isn't that cheap because it doesn't really have much competition for it and it currently costs $20. I will be making a video on how to do wireless PC VR for free in a later video. But as they say, you get what you pay for, so this is still a better method. Once you have bought Virtual Desktop and installed it on your Quest, now we need to download the Virtual Streamer application for the PC. Again, the link is in the description. And then once you have downloaded it, install it to your PC. Once the installation has finished, open it up and input your Oculus username exactly. Also, there will be a codec option. I normally leave it on automatic, however, if you're having issues with a lot of latency, then change it to H.264 to see if it helps. Also, make sure you're on the same internet network as your Quest. For example, ensure you're both on the 5G network on your PC and your Quest. You also need the streamer app open at the same time. Once you have all of that ready, then open up the virtual desktop application on your Quest and it should connect to your PC. If it doesn't, just make sure you're on the same network and the streamer app is open. If you have any issues, then restart your PC and your Quest. It usually solves most issues. Once you're in Virtual Desktop, then just click on Games. Your library of PC VR games should be there. If they are not, just make sure you have installed them on Oculus or Steam, depending on the game. If they are, just click on them for them to start. There are also options in Virtual Desktop for selecting bitrate, but this depends on your router and how many things are connected to it. You'll have to play around with it to see what works best for you depending on your setup. But that's it. Now you can play PC VR games wirelessly and you never needed to cable to do it. Well, that's all folks. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Also, don't forget to enter the giveaway. Well, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Stay safe and see you next time.